Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for Wednesday, June 16th, 2021. Yesterday, we had a little bit of softness in the market, but it bounced back in the afternoon. It's like we're just kind of straddling a fence as we wait on the FOMC today. So how about we settle into our office chairs, let's grab ourselves something to drink, buckle up and get ready for the hump day edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So good morning once again, everyone. Thanks so much for being here today. I'm a little bit um, out of sorts this morning. Um, I walked, got up this morning, the internet was out. I was unable to write the blog, but it came back up in time to be able to um, record this video this morning. So I will get that done and posted before the market opens. Hope everyone had a great evening and ready for um, an interesting day in the market. We've been really stalled out here for some time in the market. And I mentioned this um, in an e-learning class that I did last night. If we were to take a look at trend in this chart, we're still holding on to this bullish trend here in the diamonds, but at the same time have a little bearish downtrend going on here with lower highs that keep popping up in the chart. But overall, we're still holding on to this little price support and that little trend right in there. So I got to say, I don't think um, the market, well, the market's not making a decision. In fact, what I would say is, is if you could um, um, imagine that we have a fence line right here and the Dow kind of has one leg one leg in the bearish camp and one leg in the bullish camp really straddling the fence waiting to find out what the FOMC is going to do. Now it is largely expected that the FOMC isn't going to do anything. They're not going to make any course corrections this time around but they may indicate something in the future. So if we continue to ignore we're going to continue to see problems with inflation, I believe, creeping up. So um, how the market will react to this, I really don't know. But just kind of keep in mind, we're kind of straddling this fence, trying to figure out which way to go. We could get a pretty substantial reaction, I think, because we're kind of coiled up here, ready for that data. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY is in a better condition. Um, it's all on the bull side of this fence. Notice that we have a nice upside trend here going on and we're st we're holding steady in here we broke through resistance highs here we set new records in the chart and we're still trying to um, decide whether this is correct notice that if I draw just a nice straight line across here we we push through but we're not confidently up there um, just kind of hanging out here in that chart now and largely this was a result of big tech giants there's about seven big deck tech giants that make up about 40 percent of the weight of the s p 500 and um, they found enough energy to push up those tech stocks even though the, the majority of the index was kind of going south to down and that helped that break out and it was able to hold there yesterday even though it did pull back a little bit so now that now the question is which way do we go after this release from the FOMC will we be inspired by that will the bulls get that inspiration and shoot us up will we um, have the the bears inspired by whatever it is they say and 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 take us down so watch that closely now if we if we flip on over to the Nasdaq the Nasdaq pushed up to new record highs but then we kind of um, lost it yesterday. We, we hit those new record highs and now we kind of lost it. So we've had this breakout up here where we broke through this double top and tried to show some bullishness here in um, tech. But at the same time, um, we're, we're kind of straddling that fence here as well. We've got you know one leg in the bullish camp, one leg in the bearish camp trying to um, determine which way to go from here. And I think the market just really doesn't 
doesn't know what it wants to do. But um, keep a close eye on that because I think we probably have the capacity for a pretty substantial move. And I wouldn't want to rule out the possibility that it could be a substantial move in both directions. And what I mean by that is we could get an initial knee jerk reaction to um, what the Fed says pop one way and then completely reverse and pop the other way. So uh, be kind of careful here today and watch that price action closely. I think anything is possible. And then if we go on from here and we take a look at IWM, IWM also has kind of got um, a leg in both camps. Um, if we notice right here, we have a, um, a resistance high in the chart and we created a lower high followed by another lower high. And we ended up taking out this low yesterday but bounced back up off of there. So we're trying to hold on to some price support levels. We've got a little upside trend going on here that we're really close to giving up. Here again, we kind of have one leg on either side of that fence trying to decide which way we want to go. So. Kind of keep that in mind as we move toward that FOMC today. Um, we could see lots of volatility spring into action here um, this morning. Just, just be careful. Then if we take a look at the VIX. Now, we've been talking about how the VIX, it's, it's been, um, it took forever for us to break down below this 20 handle and stay down there. So we've, we're now down below that 20 handle but you can see yesterday we didn't exactly put in a whole lot of confidence in what was going on yesterday. And so we're seeing just a little bit of fear creep up. But once again, not enough to really say that there's a problem here. We um, continue to hold this downtrend. So I've got to give that to the bulls, at least at this point. We're continuing to hold in here. We're not breaking that to the upside and um, we're not showing um, a willingness to break down below that support in here either. So we're kind of on both sides of the fence here as well, waiting on that FOMC decision. Um, let's take a look at our T2101. Now, I gotta tell you guys, this one bothers me. Um, we just cannot seem to get much momentum on any on any way uh, place. So notice that here, I'm gonna change this to a, just a line chart. I think it works a little bit better in that line chart in seeing that we have, this is that upper range in T2101. Notice if you go back, we, we spike up and, and that can be those spikes that come in on the sell wave. That's that fear that it came in last year during the COVID scare and we shot up. So here we are down here lingering around the bottom. Now the question is, which side is going to get the inspiration to move? If, if we hear that the FOMC isn't gonna do anything, that we're, they're not worried about inflation at all, they're gonna keep the pedal to the metal, we could certainly see this turn and spike back up on a buy wave. And that means buyers stepping in, pushing it back up. The question is whether we'll actually be able to really break out of this range here. What we don't wanna see is if that fear really starts coming into the market, we don't wanna see um, that fear create that big uh, by wave coming in here. And that's certainly possible if all of a sudden the Fed does decide to make some kind of cor course correction and surprises the market. So just be on your toes today and prepared for, well, pretty much any possibility because um, my goodness, it's been a wild, wild and crazy market for sure. Let's take a look at our um, T2122. The T2122 indicator has been pretty darn helpful in here. It has told us that we were in this bearish reversal area and the possibility of that selling could come in. And it certainly did. We had that little bit of selling that came along in the market, but it didn't pick up any momentum. There was no fear in it. So we're, we've been down here and we've kind of tested this 
um, mid-range here in um, the T2122, and we bounce back up a little bit toward the end of the day. So the good news, I think, in this is because we did pull back, we've opened up an opportunity for an upside move. If we get some good news from the Fed, um, we could certainly push on higher here, and we've opened up that opportunity to do so. If the bears decide to become inspired, just keep in mind we also have a pretty sizable open opening to the downside if we were to slip into that. So six of one, half a dozen of the other, we're going to be sitting um, you know, on pins and needles waiting for how the market reaction. Not so much what the Fed says, but how the market reacts to what the Fed says. That'll be the interesting thing. And don't be all too surprised if we don't whipsaw um, pretty substantially in both directions. That's certainly possible. Let's take a look at our economic calendar. Now our economic calendar, uh, we've been talking about this all morning. Um, we've got, first off, housing starts here this morning. Um, that certainly can move us around. Um, you want to keep an eye on that. Import export prices and the petroleum status report will be pretty critical today oil sector stocks have been holding up really really strong so watch that closely that could be your critical report as well and then it's all about these guys and that press conference in the afternoon keep in mind we can have that initial reaction when the announcement comes out and it could be up or down and then the fed um jerome powell comes out and speaks and we get um, you know, another take on what the Fed's thinking, and we could reverse and um, see quite a little volatility. So during this period of time, just watch for just about anything to occur um, in the market. Let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar. Now on our earnings calendar, we don't have a whole lot going on. Um, that's um, a good thing and, and a bad thing, I guess, all at the same time. The good thing is, um, we've got enough on our plate that could create quite a little bit of volatility today. But um, overall, we've only got 10 companies on the um, calendar today. And unfortunately, a good deal of them are um, unverified reports. And the rest, very, very small um, uh, small cap companies reporting. Um, so I can only come up with two stocks that are notable. One would be Lennar. Lennar will be reporting today. Keep a close eye on that. Notice that this has been in a little bit of a downtrend. I think housing kind of got a little bit ahead of itself. Um, prices got a little bit too high and now we're seeing a bit of that punishment coming into play here on those housing stocks. So watch that closely. And then the only other one I could, you know, can kind of say might be interesting is um, HNST today. Um, HNST, um, a new issue trying to get going here. Um, I'm not sure that's even particularly notable, but I put it on the list. So. You guys can do with that what you want. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And like someone posted in um, the chat yesterday or in the comments yesterday, is please click that share button and share this video out to everyone um, in your social feeds. That helps the channel to continue to grow. And I just wanna say thank you to everyone who does take the time to do those kind of things. It, it helps a lot. And if you feel that the video was worthy, please make sure to smash that like button and leave a comment. Um, comments and engagement on the channel is what helps the most in growing and allowing the algorithm to show the video to more folks. So if um, you got something out of it, please make sure in it to leave a comment and it doesn't require a great big comment just something simple um, um, is all it takes so thank you everyone for doing that and we're over 21,300 this morning how about that um, all all because of you guys let's take a look at um, some stock setting up please keep in mind guys with the FOMC news I'm gonna probably myself do little to no trading 
um, uh, this morning as we kind of wait because I think anything is possible. Um, as a matter of fact, if I were, were to do anything, it might be reducing my risk to the market um, ahead, of, ahead of this news. So just kind of keep that in mind as you look at these stocks. They're good for a potential watch list. They may not be ready or shouldn't be anything that you would want to trade. Make sure you do all of your own due diligence. Make sure you understand the risk of every trade before you take on a position. So let's take a look. Um, take a look at this stock XL. I talked about this one yesterday and I was looking for this to potentially move up. And here's one of those problems that can occur in this back and forth market. And and these rather speculative type companies. Take a look um, how we've pushed back, we broke through down through this support. So a question that I answered last night in yesterday's e-learning, um, when that occurs, the only way this can become a good stock to me again is it has to recover support and prove to hold it. Then I have an opportunity to trade it. I will not pick a stock up off the bottom because we could have a bounce back up here and that bounce back up just turns into a failure. So I need to see that hold of support. So XL, gonna have a lot of work to do here before, uh, or I shouldn't say a lot of work, but it's gonna have some work to do to get back into a positive trading pattern. Let's take a look at Box. Box is one that I hold, so I, I have a bias here holding this trade it performed pretty well yesterday just kind of hanging out i think it's doing a lot uh, what the market's doing just trying to decide which way it wants to go and you can see we broke through a substantial resistance here in the chart we do have longer term resistance back here to be made aware of but watch that carefully um, the way this set is setting up it looks pretty good in that opportunity that, that could uh, push on through. So watch that as we continue to hold this upside trend. You know, I was keeping an eye on um, some of the consumer staple type things yesterday and they had a little bit of a struggle. Um, Coca-Cola broke through a substantial resistance and rallied up. And notice that we're struggling up here just a little bit right now. But that's really just a function of the overall market. It's been struggling everywhere. Um, in the market. And if this happens to hold up here above this support, there may be some opportunity in Coke to the upside. Keep a close eye on that. Take a look at FUBO, F-U-B-O. F-U-B-O is in that nice little consolidating range. Now, we're sliding past our trend here. But I think that's just fine considering the way the market has been reacting and just a lot of chop. If we can hold on to this level of price support, I would still be watching this for that potential to move up and move on through to the upside. Keep an eye on that. Now, a lot of the great movement yesterday was in the oil sector. I wanna show you ExxonMobil. ExxonMobil is a trade that I'm holding, uh, members of Rightway Options. We've been holding this for a while. We have a uh, really nice profit. And there was a good positive story that came out on ExxonMobil yesterday that spiked this up. But notice this price pattern. There is that price pattern again, where we pull back, hold on to trend, hold on to price support, and the buyer step up, who would have guessed? And continuing to um, try and move up. Now, I don't know that I would want to chase that big candle today, but wait for the next entry. If this can just kind of rest in here for a few days, Watch for that next entry into that trade. Take a look at some of these oil sector stocks and there's quite a few of them that are looking really good. Now we do have that uh, petroleum status number today to be made aware of, but um, keep a close eye on these. You might also wanna keep an eye on um, things like um, um, oil production and oil, um, uh, exploration. Those are looking pretty good. Take a look at Valero here in refining. Um, holding up here in this consolidating range above that resistance area in the chart. Let's watch this for that opportunity. If we can find some inspiration, that might just start perking right on up uh, to the upside. So watch that closely. And then um, 
you might want to keep an eye on um, NVIDIA. NVIDIA is holding up extremely well. Notice that it's just really kind of ignoring what's going on in the overall market. Now, NVIDIA is going to have, um, I want to say it's tomorrow. I could be wrong. You're going to have to check me on that. But I want to say it's tomorrow. NVIDIA is going to be doing a stock split. Now, this will be that uh, split that will reduce the price and may increase the interest in NVIDIA. So, or buyer's interest in NVIDIA. So watch that closely if that does report, um, or when that does split, watch for that opportunity maybe um, to um, gain an entry into that chart. I had mentioned Dick Sporting Goods yesterday. Dick Sporting Goods is another one that had kind of a rough day yesterday, pulling back here to trend, but I think that's okay. As long as we hold in these this area of support, and I think as long as we hold that that big popping candle, earnings candle, and we move back toward this trend, I think this is a good sign. So keep a close eye on this. If that holds in this area, there may be that opportunity to pick this up off of that support and see Dick Sporting Goods push on through to the upside. So there's a few charts for you to consider, but I'm gonna really encourage everyone to just be a little bit careful, be a little bit cautious today. Expect some volatility and we could see whipsaws, um, substantial whipsaws um, on this data. So make sure you're being really, really focused to that price action in the chart and make sure you have a plan for your trade. Everyone, I wanna wish you all a fantastic day. Apologize for the inconvenience of no blog this morning, out of my control, but I wanna wish you all just a fantastic trading day. Be safe, we'll see you right back here, bright and early Thursday morning. Have a good one, everyone.